Uh, good morning, representatives. My name is Bradley Harmon. Um, I am president of Local 6355 of the Communications Workers of America. Um, I'm, a, I'm a children's service worker from the Children's Division. I'm on a leave of absence from TV so I can um, do what I need to do for my union. My uh, local represents about 6,000 employees who work in the Department of Social Services and the Missouri Department of Health and Senior Services. Um, so Senate Bill 29 is of, of crucial interest to us, and I just wanted to give you some perspective on someone who's actually been in contract negotiations for a public employee union and actually administers a public employee union, um, some of the actual impacts that bill is going to have, because there's a lot of confusion out there about that. Um, first thing I want to make sure everybody understands is that uh, there are membership applications right now. When you fill it out, uh, first of all, I represent about 6,000 employees in the Department of Social Services. I only have, and I wish I had more, but I only have about 1,300 members in the Department of Social Services. So the 4,700 other folks have chosen not to pay dues to the local 6355 of the CWA. We collect no involuntary fees. We collect no political contributions from those 4,700 employees. Now, the 1,300 employees who have chosen to pay union dues sign an authorization card that says that they voluntarily direct the state of Missouri to deduct a specific percentage of their pay as union dues and to, to remit those funds to the Secretary Treasurer of the Communications Workers of America. The card also very clearly states that an employee may withdraw that authorization at any time. So I don't understand, I really don't understand what problem this bill is intended to solve. I, I'm concerned for Senator I, 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 I'm concerned for Senator Brown, honestly, because I've had members sit next to him in hearing and say that and he hasn't seemed to have been able to hear that. And so I, I it does make me worry about like because he doesn't seem to be able to hear that. Um, for members who said that in hearings that he's been in, I've had members go to his office from his district and say that very thing. So I want to make that very clear to the members of this committee that this bill solves a problem that does not exist when it relates to union dues. Now the other thing that I want to make very clear to the members of this committee is that this I've heard this bill is framed about freedom. What this bill does, this is a nanny state big government intrusion in a relationship between a Missouri citizen and an organization that they wish to join. Already, a member of Local 6355 has signed a card voluntarily authorizing deduction of their union dues from their paycheck to the organization that they want to be a part of. Now, this bill removes the freedom of a Local 6355 member to choose to have their union dues deducted from their payroll until they decide that that doesn't, that they don't want to do that anymore. And if they don't want to do that anymore, all they do is send in a written request to drop their membership to the union, and we process that request. That's all that they have to do. Now, what Senate Bill 29 would do, on the day that it became law, the 1,300 state employees who belong to Local 6355 would no longer have their freedom to choose to be a member of my union respected. On the day this bill became law, those 1,300 employees would have their union membership revoked until they affirmatively signed a new authorization card, which they would then have to sign every year. So to sit here and hear that this bill is not intended to pick on public employees or public employee labor unions, when in fact, on the day it became law, this bill would bring my local from a membership of 1,300 to a membership of zero. Zero. Now, that is a huge infringement on the freedom of 1,300 Missouri adults to choose to join an organization and to support that organization through the means of their choosing. Now, we have in my organization union members who decide to pay their dues through means other than payroll deduction. So there are means, so this is absolutely a freedom of choice issue, right? Like, we can have our dues paid through bank draft, payroll deduction. The vast majority of members of Local 6355 choose to have their dues taken through payroll deduction. And I don't think that the state legislature should be in the business of interfering with those choices. Also, what this bill does would create an obligation on a state employee union member 
to remain a union member as long as they remained an employee or for the 12 months that they authorized that deduction. It would remove their freedom to choose to terminate that deduction mid-year. So what this bill is, is like, let's be clear. This bill is an attack on public employee unions. It would bring us, on the day it became law, it would bring us to zero members. This bill is a limitation on the freedom of adults in the state of Missouri to choose how they want to pay to support an organization that they are voluntarily deciding to join. That, that's as it relates to dues money. Now, then there's been a lot of discussion about political contributions. I will tell you that the members, the 1,300 members of Local 6355 who work for the state of Missouri cannot make political contributions to our political action fund through payroll deduction. The only way that we raise that money is when people write us a check, when they sign a bank draft authorization or a credit card authorization. Again, this bill solves a problem that does not exist. It creates massive new problems for state employees. I really want to know why that needs to happen. State employees in Missouri are the 50th worst paid state employees in the country. Missouri has enormous problems in terms of, I come from the children's division, I can tell you, child abuse and neglect, huge problem in the state of Missouri. But what is the state legislature choosing to spend a whole lot of floor time working on? This bill that would take away the rights of people like me to have a union to be able to come to the legislature and say, Please hire more children's service workers. You know, the abused and neglected kids that I work for, they don't have a lot here in the Capitol. They don't. They have us and a few other people who are interested in helping them to come and advocate for them. And you're trying to take that voice away, too. Um, you know, the, the last thing I want to say, I'm really passionate about this, but, you know, tomorrow is the anniversary of the assassination of Dr. Martin Luther King. He was in Memphis, Tennessee, uh, fighting for the rights of public employees to have a union and to support their union the way they wanted to. And the slogan of those public employees in Memphis was, I am a man. And this bill is patronizing to state employees. It doesn't treat us like men and women. It treats us like children who don't understand what we're doing when we're signing an authorization card saying, deduct my union dues until I tell you to stop. This bill says, we don't know what that means. Now, as a state employee, who, who investigates child abuse and neglect, I'm, I'm given the authority to decide whether or not a child is safe in a home that I've just knocked on the door of. But this bill says that I can't decide what to do with 1.15% of my payroll until I decide to do something else with it. Solves a problem that doesn't exist, treats state employees like children, attacks the organizations that we choose to represent, and misdirects a great deal of energy that the legislature, in my opinion, should be spending on real problems our state faces. Thank you very much.